Hi there, welcome to the robot program. I'm Professor E. In this episode, I'm going to introduce all four of our Revolution robots and explain a little bit about the differences between them. Each of these four robots uses the same EZB V4 robot controller. So we have the same robot brain between all four of them, which means they have the same capabilities in terms of sensors that we can add on, we can expand them all using easy bits. They all have cameras. So we can do a lot of the same activities across all four of the robots. But each of these robots has their own special characteristic, and I'm going to introduce each of them to you today. First up is AdventureBot. AdventureBot is a two-wheeled robot that uses continuous rotation servos to move. AdventureBot is a great cost-effective entry-level robot. AdventureBot can implement sound effects through the EZB4, can spin in a circle using the wheeled rotation, and even follow a line with a little bit of adaptation using some extra easy bits. Next up, we have Rolly. Rolly is a rover-style robot that uses these treads for movement. This is similar to something we might see exploring the surface of a new planet. This type of movement is best suited for climbing um, really difficult terrain or moving over surfaces that are quite difficult for robots to normally navigate. You can adjust the tread and combined with the power of the motors inside Rolly, you can tackle any of your toughest obstacles. In addition, Rolly has a camera and two arms that can be positioned using the auto positioner control to create whatever poses you might want to create. Six is a hexapod robot, meaning it uses six legs for movement. The cool thing about hexapods is they only need to have three of their legs on the ground to maintain balance. You can see that six has lots of different servos allowing for lots of different types of positions. Six will even curl up for storage. Because Six uses the same type of dome as AdventureBot, you can actually use extra easy bits to turn your AdventureBot into Six. Again, like the other robots, Six has a camera and all the similar capabilities. Last up, we have JD. JD uses a bipedal gait, meaning it walks like a human. All movement is done using two feet, but JD can be posed using the arms and legs and all sorts of different positions using the auto position control. JD has RGB eyes that can be programmed to show whatever you want, as well as a camera and lots of different opportunities for sensors and other easy bits to be added. There are lots of different activities and lessons that you can do with your Revolution robots. You can watch the robot program to see more. More information about the products can be found at easyrobot.com shop and you can always contact us using the contact button. These four Revolution robots help prepare students for careers in fields that involve science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. For the creative freedom to build your own robot, this is the Easy Robot Developer Kit. Let's take a look at some of the most influential robots built by our Easy Robot community members using this developer kit. Richard used the developer kit to build this huge 3D printed robot and programmed it as a butler. Watch as it navigates through the kitchen, has a conversation with his wife, and pours a glass of wine. When Will isn't busy in Hollywood assisting with blockbuster movies, he's at home building Easy Robots. Check out these Allen robots that use artificial intelligence and machine vision. The future is exciting. You don't say. As a matter of fact, I do say. Our friend Tony used his Easy Robot developer kit to build this amazing robot, codenamed Easy One. Here you can see Easy One interacting with SoftBank's Pepper robot. Are they becoming friends? This robot can identify objects and even guess your age and sex. This might be the world's youngest Easy Robot maker. Hunter built this robot out of a trash can and the Easy Robot developer kit. It has speech recognition and even uses the camera to track objects. Way to go, Hunter. Dave has been building his B9 Easy Robot, inspired from the TV show Lost in Space. Dave's version has more features than the original inspiration. Easy Robot's own intern from Waterloo University, Viraj, spent the afternoon building an Easy Robot arm that can feed people with disabilities using speech control and the camera. Alan gets really creative with his Easy Robot by making short video clips. This inspired the robot program activities which teach you how to make scenes from your favorite movie. This is the coolest teddy bear. Kaylee built this easy robot to interact with customers at her art booth. 
people speak into the microphone to have animated conversations with the bear. There's countless more amazing easy robots built by our community members on our website. Visit the included link to explore more of what others have built.